Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. We are still in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We didn't bother to go through the town of Santa Cruz because we wanted to skip the traffic. So we took the bypass road. Now, question. Did you know that Black River is the longest river in Jamaica? Yes, man, it is. Now, the name Black River, it refers to the darkness of the riverbed that has been lined with thick layers of decomposing vegetation. The Black River, it begins as an underground stream in the cockpit country and emerges north on the southern border of the cockpits. The river flows into the upper maras where the waters merge with those of the Smith River and other small streams. It is dominated by thick rushes and is easily explored by canoe. Now, the Black River Lower Maras, it is the largest freshwater wetland ecosystem in Jamaica and the entire Caribbean. Over 100 species of bird have been recorded in the Black River Maras. The Black River Maras is the refuge for two endangered species, the American crocodile and the West Indian manatee, as well as for a host of other plants and animals. So the next time you visit Jamaica or if you are already in Jamaica, why not go to Black River and do the Black River Safari Tour? There is a lot to be learned on that tour. In the meantime, continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, Dave in Amherst, Massachusetts. Big up yourself. <laughs> no respect, man. Yeah, man. No respect. So, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you been following the saga with the JDF soldier named Alan and the female? Have you formed an opinion as to who is telling lies and who is speaking the truth as yet? Well, <laughs> We are hoping to complete a video for tomorrow with the verdict. We are sifting through all the evidence presented and obtained. And trust me, it is a whole heap of evidence we have gathered. Hopefully, by tomorrow, we'll be able to drop that video. And listen to me now. Listen to me. This is not about who have it or who don't have it. This is about who have it and is spreading it. Whether or not that is true. That is what we are concerned about. If somebody have it and is knowingly spreading it. Because remember me tell you, you know, we are not stigmatizing anyone who have HIV. We are bringing awareness to a situation. And our concern is, does someone have it and is intentionally spreading it? That's what we are concerned about. So get that. Now, let me address something else. On this channel, we support law and order. We also support the organizations that are in place to enforce law and order. Those organizations are the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Defense Force. I am not in the bashing game. You will never hear me come here come bash the JDF or the JCF. No, you will never hear me do that. However, when I say foolishness, I'm going to be talking about it and I'm going to say what I have to say without fear or affection, without malice or ill will. So let me go back to the video I posted yesterday and let me tell you what my issue is because I did not explain it fully. For months now, you might have heard me saying that the high command for the parish of St. James, they need to do something about the atrocities that are taking place near to the Barnett Street Police Station and that incident on your screen it took place near to the Barnett Street Police Station so listen to me good now listen to me three police officers are working three of them I didn't expect them to see the guy stealing the battery from the car I would be unreasonable if I said that now let me slow down the video do you realize that None of them saw the guy with the shovel chasing the other guy and hitting him at least two times with it. 
This, you know, <laughs> this did not happen behind them, you know. It happened right in front of them. And for all of you who had commented that vehicles were passing, so they would be unable to see what was happening across the street. Are you seeing the same thing I am seeing? I rest my case. Now, we got this WhatsApp message from a subscriber. It's on your screen. It says, Hi sir, I'm an active follower of your content. I want to share this news to you about a hot topic that is going around in a community where Gary is from. Please hide and protect my identity where possible. So, for the past several years, Gary, who resides in Canada, he has been sending money to his stepdaughter, X, popularly known as Y. Now, I've deleted the person's name for obvious reasons. The message goes on. The woman in the recent picture below and the person sent some photograph of the person that they are talking about. So, the person said, the woman in the recent picture below. So, the person is saying that Gary sent some money to the woman in the picture below to build a house in Hopewell District near Orange Hill in Westmoreland. She's originally from St. Mary. Popeye, this woman is a history. I don't know where to start. She has been missing for the past three weeks now after Gary sent 1.2 million Jamaican dollars to deck the roof. She currently runs off with 5.4 million Jamaican dollars, which is Gary's life savings. A report was made to the Little London Police Station. The police went to her son's school. Her son informs the police that his mother is overseas. But that is not true. This woman is a known con artist in the community. She has been taking Gary's money and not doing what she was supposed to do with it. Gary has probably sent three times the money to build the house. And the house is nowhere near completion. This woman doesn't work. Her stepfather supported her and the kids. Over the years, Gary has been helping this woman and this is the payoff he gets. She used the money to rent a car to do rubbish. She has been renting a white Toyota Axio for the past three years. She owes the individual for the car a lot of back money. She even had her stepfather sending light bill money every month and she's getting light from a neighbor who she also owes money that is looking for her. Her stepfather's plan was to come to Jamaica and retire. And now he is stuck in Canada and devastated as we speak. Right now, I don't even know if he's going to make it. I would like for her to report to the Little London Police Station and give up herself. But subscriber, do you know if she's wanted? Anyhow, she goes on to say, because she will not get away with it. Her stepfather urgently wants to get in contact with her. Papai, this woman is a crook. Everyone in Jamaica should know her. Give her up. Do not do business with her. So, <laughs> I read that WhatsApp message because so many times I have heard about this happening. People overseas send their hard-earned money to loved our trusted ones in Jamaica to do all kind of business for them and they are robbed. I have even seen where people find out what was happening and they came to Jamaica and made checks and they ended up being killed by the same loved our trusted ones. My subscribers, may I beg you know, be careful. Money hard to work for. And I am hoping that this gentleman, Gary, him give the police a statement so that the police they can start an official investigation all right now this next incident it took place yesterday morning friday october 14th 2022 about eight o'clock it took place at barracks road 
right across from the Savannah Lamar Hospital at a community known as Gullibanks in the parish of Westmoreland. So we are learning that a joint police military team they carried out a raid at Gullibanks and during this search one black Glock 9mm pistol with a magazine affixed containing nine rounds of 9mm cartridges were found. We are also learning that a 21-year-old man, he was taken into police custody in connection with this find. If this man is charged by the police, we'll be giving you his name. But congratulations to the Westmoreland police for making this find. And intelligencers, big up on a nice, clean self. Now, in this next incident, it took place last night, Friday, October 14th, 2022, about some minutes to 12 midnight. It took place at Truro, in the Burn Savannah area, in the parish of Westmoreland. So, we are learning that a man, he's popularly known as Scanty. Scanty's birthday was yesterday, Friday, October 14th. So, Scanty, he and some other persons, they were at a shop in the area. Scanty was hosting his birthday party at the shop. But a hoodlum had other ideas. He wanted to ensure that Scanty died on his birthday. So a few minutes to 12 midnight. Scanty was standing on the road in front of the shop when he was approached by this hoodlum who had a gun in his hand. The hoodlum opened a barrage of gunshots at Scanty. Hitting him in both his left and right feet his left hand and his left side the hoodlum he then made good his escape in the area some persons who were at the party they rushed scanty to a nearby hospital where he has been admitted in a very serious condition the mayhem now in this next incident it took place last night friday october 14th 2022 about nine o'clock it took place in the vicinity of the Total Gas Station along Barnett Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. So, this is what we are learning. That man on your screen, his name is Quayne Nisbet, but he's popularly known as Bojo. He was 30 years old and he was said to be a gardener. Bojo lived at Niagara in the parish of St. James. We are learning that Bojo, he was standing along the roadway in front of the gas station when a black motor car drove up and stopped a short distance away from where Bojo was standing. We are told that one of the occupants, he came out of the car. He already had a gun in his hand. He walked over to Bojo who didn't realize what was happening. We are told that this hoodlum, he put the gun to the right side of Bojo's head. Bam! And that was it for Bojo. Bojo fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he boarded the black car in which he made good his escape. From all indication, Bojo died on the spot. The police were called and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, one 9mm spent shell was recovered from the scene. One shot was fired and that one shot that Bojo got in the right side of his head was a fatal bullet. The mayhem. The mayhem. So let me ask you now, <laughs> so, <laughs> let me ask you now, something. I'm mean, noticing you now, some of you ask about if I, every day, me I go ask, yes man, then if I put out a video every day, you know, expect me to ask every day, eh? <laughs> what do you feel like? People are asking us to remind them and that's what we are doing. So if you have not yet hit on the love button, hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you know, subscribe yet, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, this one took place about a few minutes after 12 midnight this morning. Saturday, October 15th, 2022. It took place right across from Roots Bamboo in Negril, in the parish of Westmoreland. So, this is what we are learning. That photograph on your screen. That's the best photo I have gotten of that person so far. His name is Nicalda Smith, but he's popularly known as Toronto. He was 40 years old and he's originally from Denby, 
in the parish of Clarendon, but he was staying at a cottage along the beach road in Negril. We are learning that Toronto, he was standing along the roadway across from Roots Bamboo when a motorcycle rode up with two hoodlums aboard. The pillion, he brandished a gun and he opened gunfire at Toronto, hitting him all over his body. Toronto, he ran off into a yard where he collapsed and fell to the ground. The hoodlum and his crony, they then made good their escape on the said motorcycle. Toronto, he received gunshot wounds, mostly to his head and his upper body. And from all indication, he died on the spot. The police were called and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, 10 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin. Criminals, they're my mashup, Jamaica. Jamaicans, mashup.